And welcome to Hannity. And we are in Cincinnati, Ohio, where President-elect Donald Trump, Vice President-elect Mike Pence are here on what they are calling their thank you tour, the second stop of the day. They were at Cary Air Conditioner in Indianapolis earlier today. And the President-elect, his first cable interview is here with us. Mr. President-elect, it's the well, first time you. you've thank been you. on since. Um, That's true. It's appropriate it's with you. Has, has it hit you? the magnitude of all this? Well, it does hit me, but there's so much work to be done. And as you said, we worked out a deal with Carrier where they're going to keep over 1,100 people in the United States, in this case in Indiana. And it's been a great day, and uh, they're a great company. Uh, they were moving to Mexico, lock, stock, and barrel, and now they've changed their mind, and they're staying in this country where they should be, and we're very happy about it. You seem to have not taken a day off. I've been watching Fri Monday through Friday, then Saturday and Sunday, and a lot of people have been coming in and out, visiting you, and you, you actually said in the 60 Minutes interview, you want to roll up your sleeves and get to work, and you don't want a vacation. Well, that's true. I mean, you take a little bit of a vacation every once in a while, but this has been just a great experience for me, and I love it. I love what I do. Uh, I want to help people, and we do help people, like with the carrier folks. They're going to have a good Christmas instead of a miserable Christmas. And uh, so I, I enjoy doing it. It's really not work. I, you know, if it's work, you can't do it. If it's not work, it's fun. I mean, you hear the crowd outside. We're in Ohio. And we're doing a thank you, Ohio, and then thank you, Iowa. We're going to do a tour throughout uh, some of these great states that were so good to us, the swing states. We won almost all of them. And so we're going around. I guess we're going to make about 10 stops and just do thank you tours. How's the process? You've already made a lot of selections. Yeah. A couple more to go? Yeah, we have a few more to go, but we've made some great selections. And actually more than a few, but it's been really a well-oiled machine. We're doing well. We're getting fantastic people and actually getting very good reviews. People are respecting the, uh, the, you know, the process and what we've done. You know, I think you've been more gracious and maybe more magnanimous than I would be, especially you now met with Governor Mitt Romney twice. How was that? It was good. We got along very well. Uh, he was very, very nice, very nice in terms of his remarks afterwards, and I think it was very good. We have some terrific people and terrific people to come. Yeah, and I, I assume those decisions are going to be made. You had told me throughout the campaign I would go through a list of issues, Supreme Court justice, vetting refugees, building the wall. If anything that you say, like on 60 Minutes, you said, well, part of it might be offense. People said, oh, he's changed his mind. You haven't changed your mind because you told me no, that during the election. No, no, no. We're going to build a wall. I mean, I heard that every once in a while. They say, well, maybe it's not going to be totally full. Now, there are certain places you don't need a wall because you have, you know, you have mountains, you have other things, you have large and rather vicious rivers. But, uh, no, we're building a wall. It's going to be a real wall because we're going to stop the drugs from coming in. We're going to have people come in, but they're going to come in legally. And uh, we're going to have a, a great wall. We're going to have a real wall, and we're going to stop what's happening because what's happening in our country is very sad in so many different ways. Uh, but we are going to stop those drugs from coming in. Yeah. One of the things that you have an opportunity is you have a Republican House and a Republican right. Senate. First time in a long time. First time in a long time. And even people like Paul Ryan, Mitch McConnell, you've been talking to these people regularly. How's that been going? It's been going great. Both of them have been great. Uh, Paul and I have become, you know, very close, I think. We, we agree on a lot of the things. We're going to put in a health care bill, a real strong health care bill. I think it's going to be terrific because the Obamacare is just, uh, I tell you, look at what's happening. You see it, you report on it all the time. When you see 116 percent increases in Arizona and you see the kind of numbers you're talking about and the tremendously high deductibles where you don't even get to use it. So we're going to do something that's going to be great for the people and a lot less expensive, much better and less expensive. I look at four things that I think would lead to great economic success. It reminds me a little bit of Reagan, 15 percent corporate tax rate, okay. repatriation of trillions. Right. I think Obamacare will be like a tax cut right. for some people. A big tax cut. And energy independence right. is huge. Yep. How yep. much of this do you think you'll be able to do through rescinding executive orders? Well, I think we're going to do a lot of it, and I don't think we have to rescind. Uh, we're going to be rescinding executive orders, but I don't think we're going to have to use very many executive orders because we have a Congress that's going to go along with things. And I think a lot of Democrats are going to join the train, if you want to know the truth. Have you talked to many? People, yes, I have. And people are, you know, I know so many people in politics over the years. A lot of people said, oh, John, he's never been in politics. I've really been very active, mostly from the other side. But we're going to have a lot of Democrats joining us on a lot of these things, maybe even health care. But uh, so many of the things that we're going to be pushing, they're common sense. And 
we will get a lot of support, and I think that's going to start happening very soon. One of the things that I went through, you're still solid on Supreme Court justices, yeah. originalists. Yeah, solid we on have the one wall. to appoint very soon. We're going to have to come up yeah. with a name. I'm looking, I'm down to probably three or four. Mm -hmm. Are These they from are your list? People from the list. Uh, yeah. They are terrific people, highly respected, brilliant people, and uh, we'll be announcing that pretty soon, too. And you'll have extreme vetting. Right. Very your extreme. Corporate, <laughs> oh, your corporate tax rate. Right. And you're going to have... And remember, the we're also cutting taxes for the middle class. We're cutting taxes for virtually everybody, not mm. just corporate. Corporate's almost the most important because it's going to create jobs like you've never seen. But we're cutting taxes for everyone. We're simplifying the system. It's going to be a tremendous tax cut for the middle class, especially. Energy independence. How long did, after you've studied and looked at it? Because I see millions of potential good-paying career jobs for people. Right. How big is that in well, your it's agenda? Well, a big thing. I mean, we have so much energy we never knew about. You know, modern technology, starting about six years ago, the technology has been so incredible. We're sitting on vast wealth. We never knew we had it. And we have more than Saudi Arabia. We have more than countries that you would never even believe it's possible. And now we're going to start using it. We're going to put the miners back to work. We're going to put the steel workers back to work. We're going to make steel for ourselves when we build buildings instead of bringing it from other countries. And uh, we're, going to have a great, we're going to have a great time doing it. My last question. Since you've been elected, some people have had a hard time dealing with it. And Poor kids on college campuses have their professors giving them cocoa and aromatherapy and pet therapy and coloring books and Play-Doh. They're apparently very upset they couldn't deal with it. Anything you'd like to say to them to reassure their, their sensitive feelings that it'll be okay? I think they're going to be very happy. I think we're going to have a very safe country, a very prosperous country. We're going to do things that are going to create jobs for their parents in many cases where their parents are going to be able to do a lot better although most of their parents voted for me, so I think they don't have the problem. Uh, but we're going to have a very prosperous and a very safe country, and uh, I hope they realize that very soon. Well, 1,100 families don't have to sell their house, their car, worry about sending their yeah. kids to college, and they'll have a good Christmas. Uh, Mr. President, Thank thanks for spending time much. with us. Thank Appreciate you. it, and Thank congratulations you. on your way. Appreciate it very Thank much. You very Thank you very much. Conflicts of interest. So um, Mr. Trump has something like 144 businesses all around the world. Does anyone have any concern that that will complicate um, his dealings in the White House? No, I don't think that at all. He's got a, a family that, I mean, when you look at these folks, when you look at his kids, talk about raised right. So he's going to release the business interest to them, okay, um, because they're totally capable. And so uh, there's not going to be a conflict of interest because he's not going to be directly involved. Okay, but just f help me understand this. Mm -hmm. Substitute the word Ivanka for Chelsea Clinton. And if Chelsea Clinton were going to be running the Clinton Global Initiative or the Clinton Foundation, why would that have bothered you if Hillary had won? Why would that have been a conflict of interest? <laughs> because but Chelsea is the product of government. She is the product of parents who have done nothing but make money off of the people and right, in right. government and in politics. Well, they and made money Trump after the he left the, the presidency and he sold books and he gave speeches. Donald Trump mm -hmm. has made money from well, they selling. But they've never been involved in politics, well, and, and they've never used. The, he's never had that that political uh, background. Why is it that you're totally comfortable with Donald Trump's family being able to have these other business interests that we deal with in terms of U.S. policy, and that's okay? But it wouldn't be okay for Bill and Chelsea Clinton to have had that same deal. Well, I think Explain because it. Mr. Trump has disclosed his his so-called conflicts around the world. How? Well, by coming out and saying that he owns some of the best real estate and some of the best businesses and in the gonna, world. But he didn't and release his taxes, so you don't know exactly what the level of connection is to some of these places. But, but, and but, what's the purpose of releasing his taxes because, anyway? So yeah. I mean, what are we looking for? Who cares? You know, uh, I don't agree you with that. I don't think that I don't think that shows about the that. tax returns. He wasn't in politics. Next year, I'd like to see his tax return when he's president. But right now, he's private. I'd like to see every member of Congress give us show us every tax return, and so they can prove that they're paying their taxes because we know some of these hypocrites down in Washington don't pay taxes. Okay. It comes down to trust. People trust Donald Trump. On child care, I'm asking Congress to pass legislation to support the American family and make safe and affordable child care accessible to all. It's so important. Our agenda will fight to increase pay and opportunities for women 
in the workforce. Support women entrepreneurs. Who's a women entrepreneur here? Who's a women? A lot of them. Hate to tell you, men, generally speaking, they're better than you are. Now, if I said it the other way around, I'd be in big trouble, don't you? And we're going to make sure that no one is penalized for the decision to have a family. Right now, they're penalized.